Good afternoon, brew tubers. This is Kevin here um, with an update on my brew rig construction. Uh, this is my uh, boil kettle, and um, if you've seen any of my other videos, uh, you may have seen my construction video on this uh, this, this uh, kettle. But uh, for now, I'm uh, using it as an example for the main topic of this video, which is my uh, temperature probes. These are custom built temperature control uh, probes that will be inserted. Uh, uh, you can kind of see just back over here that I have an analog thermometer on the front of my boil kettle, also on my mash tun and my uh, my hot liquor tun as well. Uh, those are just for uh, basically aesthetics, um, also for a, a manual backup capability. But primarily my temperature control system will be run automatically uh, by my microcontroller. Um, again, another video uh, you might check out on my Netlink. That's uh, the product that I developed. Uh, for automating things and uh, this is one of the things I'm automating. So an input to that I need uh, electronically uh, uh, access to uh, temperature of each of my pots and uh, these are some examples of my of my temperature probes. Um, the probe itself is right here uh, it starts with a half inch stainless steel uh, cap I, you can see there I installed uh, or actually cut a hole, uh, drilled a hole and ran the wire through the hole and um, into this piece of quarter inch uh, aluminum hobby tubing that's long enough to, to go all the way to the end of a thermal well. In fact, that thermal well. So uh, that's a six inch thermal well. So this probe will fit through uh, the coupler, uh, the close nipple there, and into the thermal well. And the probe uh, will go all the way down to the end of the thermal well. Um, Inside that aluminum tube, I have a sensor. It's actually right at the tip of that sensor inside. It's a DS18B20+. Uh, it's a three-wire TO92 package, uh, one-wire sensor from Maxim Integrated. And uh, I wi soldered wires to it, sealed them all up. I actually heat shrink the, uh, the wires so they don't touch. Ran the wires through and brought, th brought them out and uh, connected with to the rig with quick connects. So for installation we just insert this into the thermal well and if I can do this one, with one hand here and it'll screw in. We don't have, have to worry about seals even on that on that screw. That's just a, um, a place to the, the nut is a way to hold that uh, assembly together but there's really no need for sealing there because the thermal well will keep the liquid out of uh, and away from the sensor itself. I'll also pack that with thermal grease uh, during uh, um, my final installation. I have another one completed here. This one's a little shorter because it, it'll be for my hot liquor ton. It'll go directly through the uh, outside wall of my uh, of my liquor ton pot, so it doesn't need to be as thick. So it's just this thermal well with the sensor uh, directly connected to it. Now, I have one installed here in my boil kettle already and it's connected to my rig and this is uh, indicative of how all of them will be connected. The wires will come out of the sensor from, from the back of the rig and be connected through quick connects into the rig wiring. So this as I said before is a is a maximum one wire interface and so all of all of the signals from all of the sensors from all three mash tons I've also got one from my uh, exit wort out of my chiller and a water temperature sensor and some others as well and those will all be connected to a single wire. To, in fact, the green wire. Um, this is called a one-wire interface, but it really takes three wires, you can see. Uh, the green wire is the one wire. The red wire is an optional power. I'm actually running uh, power to the sensors rather than operating them in their parasite mode. And also the black uh, wire is ground. And that'll tie. I'm just waiting on the connector for it right now for this, uh, for this wire, but it'll connect directly to the rig uh, at that point right there. And that's uh, similar to how all, all of the sensors will be installed. I have one other sensor that's already installed, but not wired in yet. I'm still working on the wiring today. But it's right here. This is the output of my second stage of my chilling system. So this is wort chilling. So this temperature sensor will measure the output wort, effectively the wort that goes into the fermenter, the temperature. And that will be fed again through those white wires that are not quite finished yet. And they'll be fed in that same bus we just saw back over the boil kettle. And ultimately, they'll feed back down 
to the electrical box right there. Inside there, there'll be a connection, which from there it'll feed up to my control panel. And of course, that's where the microcontroller sits and all the brains and all the processing will be done on that information. So there you have it for today. My latest update on Mountain Point Nano Brewing a Rig.